Yes, 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 people. What's happening? I'm already on the wrong side. Owen's going to kill me. He said the first <laughs> thing he said, he goes, Flex, do not go on the left-hand side because it's going to look weird with you on that side and Nicky not. So I've just switched us around straight away. Um, he won't be happy about that. Um, big up to Nicky, West Ham Fan TV. Man United taking a trip to the London Stadium tomorrow to face your boys. Welcome back to the channel, Nicky. How you doing, bro? I'm very well, thank you, Flex. I'm very nervous about this game, I'm, I'm going to be honest. but <laughs> You're listen, nervous? Yeah, well, I think we've all got something to be nervous about. I think it's justified, you know? We, we, yeah. you know it's not going good for us at the moment. No, nah, it's not. It's not going good for you. Uh, well, you, like you said, us, both of us. Um, do you know what? Let's start, off, let's start off from your boys, because actually, my feeling is, and I want you to dispel this myth or put me in my place if I'm saying this wrong, I feel like, West Ham haven't been very good. I feel like defensively, they've been really bad. They've been conceding a lot of goals. Mm -hmm. um, I look at the goals they conceded against Spurs, the ones they conceded when Chelsea came to you. You know, players just running in straight lines and yep. Tadebo out of position, Areola trying to play. Like, just not great, not great. And I'm looking at it going, we're crap as well. we got a lot of issues. But actually, we should be looking to get a result against this version of West Ham under Lopetegui. Is that is that a fair assessment? I think it's fair. I think it's fair. And I think it's fair to, for me to say the same thing uh, about you guys. You know what I mean? Like, I think both both managers are going to be looking at this as a, as a chance to sort of take advantage. Take advantage of the poor form. Take advantage of the, you know, the, the, the holes that they've got in the team. The, you know, the lack of midfield. I think both of us, it's got to be like watching a donut tomorrow. You know what I mean? It'd be like ring around a rosy. But, um, yeah, I, I, I think it, it's a fair assessment. I mean, to be honest, Second amount of uh, the second most goals conceded in the league, so you know the, the stats don't lie, as they say. Um, so yeah, I can't argue against any of that. Um, but you know, I, I haven't seen much, you know, and I said this last week when we lost to Spurs. You know, we've got to see something now from Lopetegui because his time is running thin. And I think Ten Hag's is running thin as well. So both managers perhaps could come into this game with a different sort of mindset, you know. But a, a win against Man United at home would. You know, as much as you, you, you're bad, you, you you know you're still the mighty Man United, and I'm, I mean that with the greatest respects. Um, you know, probably the, the the biggest side in the world, not the best team anymore, right. but the biggest team name in the world. So it always gives um, anyone that gives uh, you a game and, and beats you a bit of a boost. And I think that both managers are going to be looking at the same thing. You know, look, uh, Ten Hag, it's going to be a good chance to get the players, um, you know, playing away from home. It's a big pitch. It's it, you know, it, it, it's it's you're not going away to someone like Brentford or Luton. You know, it's you know it, it's going to suit the Man United way. Um, but we've got, you know, we've got to win tomorrow. Yeah, and I, I would say is, there's a lot of similarities. We've got to win as well. I mean, yep. the run of form that we're on, one win in seven in all competitions. And I know Europe's a different thing, but one win in 11 in Europe. Um, yeah, haven't yeah. won in Europe for a year. So, you know, in isolation, the, the, the draw against Fenerbahce, you know, I think they've lost like one of their last 20 something games there in Europe. Like people don't go to Fenerbahce and win. <laughs> like they don't it's very tough, often. Like, it's, Turkey's it's a very, very tough place. place. Well, but so some positive United fans are sort of saying, you know, you've got to look at it in isolation, Porto tough place to go. And so is Fenerbahce. But unfortunately we don't have the pleasure when the team's been performing so bad in so many other areas for so long. Yeah. Isolation doesn't really count. Unfortunately, it's just how yep, it goes. Yep. Like you have to look at the whole picture and the whole picture is, is that we're not scoring goals. Um, we are boring and mundane. We're not seeing improvement on the pitch. Um, and we've spent money and we're not getting a return on that. That's the you fact. You West Ham flex. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 you, where, everything you've described there is exactly the same. We are in the same boat. We are mm. in the same boat. Well, I don't, like, the only thing I'd give you lot is that at least for you, like you're saying, Lopetegui's, what, nine games in? Is it nine? How many games is it? No, this is this would be ninth. This, this is the ninth. ninth game. So he's ba he's basically eight games in, right? Nine including tomorrow, into a new tenure. And it hasn't started well, don't get me wrong. But at least the, the saving grace for any manager who hasn't even been there 10 games is, I'm still trying to do this, that and the oh, other. Yeah. I've got a lot of new signings. Give me more time. He, at least he so, can say it. You know what I mean? I, 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 I can't mean, say that. The, the, but you know, you have to read the signs early, early signs, early signs yeah. are an indicator, yeah. you know. And I remember you saying the same thing about Ten Hag, you know, 
but you know, can we afford? We, we, I mean, Man United, Man United. You know, if Man United, Man United could go four, five, six years without being anywhere near the the Champions League, and they still got that, that lure of being Man United. You know, West Ham can't afford that. We're not, we're not in that in that position. You know, we go five, six, seven years without getting back into Europe again. We're just Man West Ham. You know, a, a, a team no better than sort of like in no better position than a Brentford or a Fulham with no mm. sort. of so yeah it, it's very but but you know early signs are not are not good for us and i remember you being in the same position um a couple of years ago when ten hard came in you've you got to give him time got to give him time and what's happened you've wasted three years and, and <laughs> now you're all gone you know what i mean yeah, so yeah. yeah you know early indications for me listen I, I like to be proven wrong i was proven wrong to a certain extent with david moyes when he first came in um you know i wanted i didn't want him in the first place i wanted him gone um but you know we, we went on to, I mean, I saw you straight after the final. Remember when we done the Champions League final? Yeah. I, was yeah. and I was, you know, I'd had the, the, the time of my life. So, <laughs> you know, but you know, you want, that's the problem with success. Once you get something, you want more, you want more, you want more. <laughs> and, you know, you're always looking for the next way to do it. Unfortunately, I don't think that's, you know, it, this guy's the right guy for Man United. Mm, no, in, I, in, my, I, in my opinion, in my yeah. opinion, and I, and I know, you know, a lot of Man United fans are going to be, uh, you know, um, upset with that I said that, but they, no, that's only my opinion. I'm looking from the outside. Like in. A lot of them will agree with you now. I think yeah, there's yeah. been a big shift recently yeah. where, you know, some of the most staunch uh, Eric Ten Hag defenders or, or backers, and, and nothing wrong with that, by the way, I'm not digging them out. Like, I've no, been no, there. No. Up until that Spurs game, I was there saying, listen, give him this season, let him try and turn it around. But the Spurs game I, was the last one for me. I think, you know, in the football community as well, Flex, I'm going to say this as well. You're allowed to change your opinion. Oh, uh, well, apparently it's you're not. Couldn't to Abby Summers. No, no, Abby no. Summers, well, you're not, no, uh, I'll, I'll, to AGT, I'll, I'll, you're not. I would argue with them too. To yes. my, my, you know, I, uh, you know, we work in opinions. They, that is our business. Our business is opinion. And if you stick to one opinion, you're a fool. Because opinion changes, I'm going to say, and I'll say this to the two of them, opinion changes based on the fact in front of you, based on what, what the information is available. You know, we all like Jimmy Savile until we know the fact, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, so you, so you, if you was a Jimmy Savile fan, you've got to be a Jimmy Savile fan after you know the fact. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, opinion changes based on the fact. Yeah. There we go. No, oh, you might need to cut that out, Flex, yeah. by the way. <laughs> No, no. Listen, it's, it's it is it is what it is, though. It's, it's in in terms of the principle of what you're saying. When you present, I've always said yeah, this. When you're yeah. presented with new information, you know, because then what you get is what you want to be wrong and strong, and then people will say you just don't want to change your mind because you said this yeah, yeah. two years ago and you want to stick with it. And then the longer you stick with that opinion, they go, you just don't want to admit what it is. And then you know, I mean, you can't you can't win. So you can't. We're in a position where we're not trying to. You're, you're, a, foolish, people, you're a foolish man if you back your initial opinion. Despite yeah. no new information, exactly you know, that, that you know that is for, you know you can only react to what's in front of you. Hundred so, percent. There we go. Um, in terms of the game, then Nick. So, what can we expect from West Ham? They're set up. Obviously, there is no Kudus. Does that mean yeah. um, you're looking at what Somerville on the left, Antonio up front? Um, I think he's. I think he's got to be flicked. I think he's got to be. But I don't know. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like. Maybe he's going to throw a curveball, but that's that's what I always expect. You know, that's the natural, um, that's the natural player things. He's just stick some of you out in the left. Some of was a handy player, you know, and 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 he will have a little bit of room to run in behind um, at the weekend. So yeah, I, I I would do that, but who knows with this geezer? You know, what I, mean? I don't know what he's thinking. I don't think he knows his best team. So yeah, that that is. A, I think it would be Ariola. Although I would I would pick Fabianski because I think he's been a big issue. Ariola. Um, It'll be the same defence. Who is be, that? Is that uh, is that Tadebo and Kilman? Tadebo Kilman. Yeah. Um, uh, Wamba Wamba Yeah. Um, which could be, you know, be, you know, could, you know, he's going to go up against Marcus Rashford, mate. Oh, sorry, Garnacho. Yeah. And you know what? Actually, mate, I ain't thought about this. I fucking forgot about this. I, I completely forgot as well. I and know. In fact, you know what I done yesterday? I picked him in my fantasy team because I thought to myself, "There's, there's, you know." Football loves a story, didn't it? Football loves a football loves a towel. If one Basaka, if one Basaka is one thing about him, mate, in terms of one v one duels, uh, this is going to be really interesting to see how Garnacho does. Obviously, uh, you know, one Basaka knows him very well yeah. from his time at United, and one thing one Basaka can do very well is if it's one v one, mate. Nine times out of ten, you ain't getting past. Nine and a half times out of times, you ain't. Has he? 
Has he been like that for you? Like not many people getting past doing his job. Like how's he? How's yeah. he been? I haven't watched. No, you know, do you know what he, he started? He, he was on fire. I, listen, I think it's it's tough to come into a team when you know you're not playing very well. Um, he was a difference in the Crystal Palace game. When yeah, he, he was great right. against Adam. Yeah, I saw that. yeah. Um, he gets caught out of, in out of position a lot. That's what I would say. <laughs> yeah, um, that's but, enough, yeah, but you know, I don't. I, I can't make a judgment based on whether that's the manager faults yeah. or his own faults but he's been fine for me you know yeah. he has good games he has bad games he's had more good games than bad games so i can't complain i think well i would say he is capable just off of knowledge of watching him game in game out for like five years i know he's capable of going yeah yeah right Gonacho, not today not and today, yeah. that, that's interesting that's in it'd be interesting to see you know th this is a good test for for Garnacho. one thing i love about Garnacho is that Yes, his end product might not be there yet. He's a young kid. He's getting used to the, playing at this level and getting some consistency. He's having a really good start to this season. I think five goals, three assists already. You know, he's already beaten his score. You know, last year he had no goal. I think no goals by this time. Uh, do you know what, though? Even he's really even well. He wants the ball all the time. Even despite that flex, I, I, I'm a big fan of his. I, I, you know, he's the type of player I like. He's an exciting player. Yeah. Um, you know, he's a nippy little player. But, you know, I, I, I'm a big fan of his. Yeah, good battle good that. Fan of his, I didn't yeah. take that. Okay, and what Emerson left back? Emerson left back. Yeah. Um, What's happening in central midfield these days? Then. Oh no, Alvarez man. on the bench sometimes. You the, get the, pro what, the problem is with it, Alvarez insurgence. Mate, listen, <laughs> I, I'm not. You know, I'm 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 a marmite with Suchek. Sometimes I love him. Sometimes <laughs> I can't stand him. Can't 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 knock the geezer's personality. Yeah. But um, it's the same with him and Antonio, right? And I've said this forever. No matter what we think, there must be something about him because every manager that comes they in, get picks him. They pick him. You know, they, they try new things and they and they end up getting back in the side. So yeah. there must be something about the geezer. But yeah. yeah, it probably will be Suchek. I'll bring in Alvarez, although Rodriguez did play well. Um, yeah. Rodriguez had a, bit, a little bit of a tough start. Um, it'll be and it'll be the same front four. Pakatar, no, it won't be the same front four at all. It'll be Pakatar, Bowen, Somerville rather than Kudus, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, and Antonio will, will, will lead the attack. Although I have heard Fulkrug may be coming back. Yeah, I mean, interesting. Really, you know, that looked like a really good signing as well. You know, he knows where the back of the net is. You see him at Dortmund. Came here a couple of games. You're going, fucking hell, I've got parachute on his back in, but I don't know about that. <laughs> like, and then well, you go, yeah, like, Antonio. You need a battering yeah. ram. You need someone mobile up front. And it just changes yeah, back to Antonio. He's yeah, seen yeah. off Haller. He's seen off, um, what's his Skamaka. Face? Skamaka. <laughs> He, he sees them all good, off. Good it? players. Good, yeah. good players. Like, good quality players. <laughs> weird. It is really weird. You I know, love like, it. You I love to a point where you just got to just respect Antonio. You just got to respect yeah, the yeah. You, go, you got these guys, these foreign guys coming in, ain't taking my spot, mate. I was it. Yeah, they can well, be the new flavour of the month, but they're going to come back to me. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. from our perspective, uh, quick team news. Um, I, obviously, uh, be an honour in goal. Uh, I'd imagine Dado at right back. Um, I think Masrawi. We'll go back to being at left back. We won't be putting him in the fucking number 10 like we did against Fenerbahce for some stupid reason. Um, I think it'll be Delict and Martinez back in at centre backs. Uh interesting what happens with Ugarte. I think I think he might go again. I think he yeah. might I think now Bruno's back. I think he goes Ugarte, Ericsson, Bruno. Bruno. I think he'll yeah. go. Um Bruno definitely straight back in, no qualms about that. I'm 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 certain Hoyland will start. Um, you know, he's coming back from injury, so didn't start in midweek to keep him keep him fresh. And Xerxes was pulled off quite early in the second half because he wasn't having a good game at all. And I don't think you can look past um Rashford and Garnacho again. They've got to start, they've got to start. Yeah. So right, let's knock in the predictions. Nikki, what are you going with? As I said before, Flex, um head over heart two one. Head over heart two one. Heart heart overhead, sorry. Heart yeah. overhead. Heart overhead, yeah. Um it might be boring, but I'm going to match you the same the other way. Head uh, head over heart, or should I say heart over head? Yeah. 2-1 yeah. Man United. Um, I think it's a good time to play West Ham. I think we can get it done. But would I be shocked if we drew? Would I be shocked if we lose? No, I will not. It's going to be no, a I very won't. tense affair for both yeah. sets of fans. I could see a shit draw, mate. Honestly, yeah, I could, see, yeah, I could yeah. see a shit mundane nil-nil or 1-1. One, one. I could even see that as well. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah, basically, me and Nicky said anything can happen. So there you Actually, go. Yeah, absolutely. yeah, there you go. Make sure you guys subscribe to West Ham Fan TV. Make sure you check out all the work that Nicky and the boys are doing over there. Um, also, check out the Omelie app as well. We did a preview on that uh, um, 
earlier on as well. Um, yeah. And there's so much more to come on that platform. And after the game, Nicky's going to be live on there with his lads. Um, <laughs> hopefully with, uh, with West, yeah. Ham, West Ham tears, one in Lopetegui out. Um, hopefully that. Um, yeah. Take care, guys. We'll see you again. Another, uh, another preview. Right out of here. Peace.